Let us make a major effort to stop misrepresenting other Christian denominations, including the Catholic Church. I hope my book can contribute to this process. Perhaps we can at some future point in time decide that we must actually ask for forgiveness for the many things, for the many times we have accused Catholic believers and in particular the Catholic Church because of ignorance or in ways that were definitely unchristian. I pray that the Seventh-day Adventist Church will be able to retain its identity but will no longer see other Christian churches, including the Catholic Church, primarily as enemies, but rather as allies in the fulfillment of the Gospel Commission. And let us, in the process, try to learn from each other and be inspired by the other as we go about our sacred task. Amen. After listening to the presentation by the brother who wrote this book, Adventism and Catholicism in a Changing World, can they learn from each other? Uh, you find that there are so many things that are disturbing. In fact, he said at one point that the Adventist church, they have to apologize to the Catholic church because of the things that they've said about the church. So this event was supposed to take place this month. At, at, at Roma Linda University, but it was cancelled because of the out outcry of the people. And this uh, event was cancelled from taking place at Roma Linda University, but there was a different venue that was found, and this book was launched. And well, the, the, just the extracts that you've heard from him, the video that I started with, that is when he was launching his book. And I'm um, uh, Ted Wilson came in so that they can cancel that uh, event from taking place at the Malinda University. So this is a book. It is called Adventism and Catholicism, the History of a Turbulent Relationship. If you have time, go and listen to the whole presentation. It is like a two hours presentation. And he said so many things that you'll be shocked to hear. But I'm not too shocked because I came across this article uh, in April 2021, uh, Renda Brisma, Mountain View author, appointed as knight by the King of the Netherlands. Who is a knight? Find out about who a knight is and you, then you, have, you understand why this brother is talking the way he's talking. But today we are not talking about the secret society. Of course, knight, the knight templars, the knight, whatever it, it is called, the order, they are a secret society. The question is, should Adventists belong to any secret society? The answer is a big no. Adventists are admonished not to belong to any secret society. And when you read the counsel by Ellen G. White, Adventists should not belong to any secret society whatsoever it is. So I found this article on internet very interesting. Uh, in any case, not everyone expresses themselves with the same certainty and conviction that, that Brisma does. For example, Gerard E., priest of Holy Family Church in New York City, states without hesitation that Catholicism has not changed. It is the same yesterday, today, it is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Coming the storm, navigating the crisis, facing Facing the Catholic Church and Society. This book was published in 2022, and that is the title, Coming the Storm, Navigating the Crisis, Facing the Catholic Church. And what that priest said in that book is what Great Controversy says in 571.1. It says, every principle of the papacy that existed in the past ages exists today. The doctrine diversed in the darkest ages are still held. Let none be deceived. 
So my brothers and sisters, do not be deceived by many people who are crying, saying the Catholic Church changed in 1965. It is a lie. The Catholic Church is still the same. Themselves, they are speaking, and the great controversy says so, and the Bible also, it tells us the same. So friends, let no one deceive you. The same quotation, the same book, Great Controversy, 571.3 says it is not without reason that the claim has been put forth in Protestant countries that Catholicism differs less widely from Protestantism than in the former times. There has been a change, but the change is not in the papacy. Catholicism indeed resembles much of the Protestantism that now exists because Protestantism has so greatly degenerated since the days of the reformers and this is so true when you look at the protestants today they are not the same that started the protest in fact most of the protestant churches they've gone back to the catholic church and it goes on to say the papacy that protestants are now so readily to honor is the same that ruled the world in the days of the reformation when men of god stood up at the peri of their lives to expose our iniquity she possesses the same pride and arrogance assumption that lorded it over kings and princes and claimed that prerogative of God. So we are seeing that this papacy, it has never changed. It will never change. It is like a chameleon. It suits the environment where it sees that there is danger. It will camouflage itself and it suits the environment. So this is what the quotation is saying. Have time to read the great controversy. There's a, the whole chapter which is talking about the papacy and how in the recent years it has been looked upon with favor because of what the, the church is doing. The papacy is just what prophecy declared that she, she would be, the apostates of the latter times. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3 to 4. It is part of our policy to assume the character which will best accomplish her purpose. But beneath the valuable appearance of the chameleon, she conceals the invaluable venom of the serpent. Faith ought not to be kept with heretics, nor persons suspected of heresy. This is a book that you can find these words. She declares, Shall this power whose record for a thousand years is written in the blood of the saints be now acknowledged as part of the church of Christ? That is a question. How come that overnight this leopard-like beast has changed to be a good thing? The sports have changed. Now it is this good. Uh, papacy is good. There's nothing wrong. Even Adventists should apologize for rebelling her as a beast. What does the Bible say? How leadest thou? It is high time, friends, that we, wake, we awake from the sleep. Time is almost finished. Get ready, get ready, get ready. May God bless you and keep you till we meet again. Maranatha.